Hello and welcome to Let's Develop with Eclipse Code Recommenders. In the next couple of minutes I'm going to show you a problem you face in your everyday Java development. I'm going to show you how to install Code Recommenders and how Code Recommenders solves this problem for you. So let's get started. This is a fresh clean Eclipse Kepler for Java developers distribution and my plan is to create a simple uh, utility project that helps me to deal with conversion between date and calendar objects and the core class of this project is going to be a date calendar converter. I'm creating this real quick and I'm gonna want to start here by declaring a method public that returns a calendar such a util calendar from a date, Java util date. And now not my problems already start because if I do new calendar, hmm, yeah, this somehow not works. It wants me to implement something that's not what I want to do. So hmm, maybe there's a static initializer. Hmm, there's a lot of stuff going on here right now. So I'm I might still know there's a get instance method, okay, so I assign this to a variable, let's call it calendar, and now from the calendar I, I somehow know that I can convert to date, but how am I supposed to do that? There's a million of methods and fields, and I actually don't know what to do here. So this is a problem we face every couple of times as a Java developer. Their API is so blown of methods that we don't know which method actually to take and although the code completion is a very good tool to help us in this task uh, if there's too many entries in the list it's not of much help if I'm actually learning about how to use an API. So let's see how code recommenders can help us out here. First um, let's install code recommenders. That's pretty easy. We go to help Eclipse Marketplace and then actually it's going to take a while uh, to scan the marketplace for plugins so I'm going to uh, speed this up for you guys uh, and as soon as it's done I'm going to pop right actually it's done by now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Eclipse code or for recommender because this will show me the Eclipse code recommenders installation and again I will uh, fast forward to uh, the result of uh, my quick search and there in the first position we actually have uh, what I was aiming at the Eclipse code recommenders extension for Eclipse so I'm going to install it again fast forward resolving finished just confirm the installation I'm going to install all the uh, extensions that are available for my demonstration the first one would be sufficient but I'm going to install them all right now just quick it's going to install the software now and then I'm going to have to restart Eclipse for it to load I'm going to quickly fast forward through the point okay so here we are again uh, Eclipse just restarted and now code recommenders is installed so so let's just restart this scenario so we have calendar we know we want to use that and what I see now if I hit code completion is there's an entry in enable intelligent code completion and I'm gonna want to do that enable intelligent code for completion for me get the calendar and then let's see what's there hmm in this case it doesn't help so but I but I knew how to use uh, the get calendar instance thing so give me the calendar cal and now I'm going to want to hit uh, the code completion and as you can see something changed uh, as opposed to before I don't see the alphabetic list but I see an improved list that contains proposals for the calendar instance and uh, they're actually ranked by importance so the top two I actually get time and set time and I can easily see that set time is what I actually want to do here so I want to set the time to the date and then return uh, my new calendar. 
So this is how code recommenders helped me to quickly solve the task by actually giving me a, a prioritized list of uh, method call proposals as opposed to an alphabetically sorted list and it helped me solve my task quickly without having to scan all the methods that are available. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if so, uh, feel free to like it or share it. Subscribe to my channel, please, uh, or follow me on Twitter. And also have a look at my other contacts like the Let's Develop with Maven and Eclipse and Let's Develop Conway Scale of Life. Uh, give me feedback on what I'm doing, if you like it, if you don't, uh, what you would improve. Uh, I can seriously learn from all information, all feedback you give me uh, to provide better content for you guys. So see you next time.